Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time, they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have any new This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unfortunately, just so wise. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the professional. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. One of the best in the business, Herb Ready. Dean, is our referee tonight. Ready. Now, there could be two better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. That is a damaging kick that lands. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Man, not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quick. the jab there by Lee. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice kick to the body. Oh, man, another huge kick. Oh, strike lands there. 
there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Lee's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Just over two minutes, round one. Lee getting tattooed by that stiff jab. What a kick that would land. Lance a good series of kicks here. Just out of range with the uppercut. Under a minute now to go in the round. Nice side kick. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. The right hand just misses. DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Strong outside leg kick. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. with that kick. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Punch got blocked there. Huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That one landed clean. Oh! Don't wait. You hit him. Oh, and the high kick lands. Circling to his right. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Lee's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, separation the clinch. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. 
Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that figure. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now under. Oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now we got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Hard low kicks, hard low kicks now. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. It's a good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Nice uppercut. They just heard him with a left hook. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Dig deep, dig deep. And he lands that side kick. Final seconds of the round. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get at this space so that he doesn't get finished. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round of the fight. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Well, he'll need some Motrin in the morning, but at least in terms of the present, he's got to figure out a way to stop these body shots to get back in the fight. This is bad. The only way for him to stay up right is to get a takedown. He has had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. Ooh, sidekick, well-timed there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh! bad. Sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the car. They're going out of here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Great, man. Relax. Breathe. Right, here's some water. Now listen, I want you to stay sharp. Don't get suckered into that crap. I want you to get out of there. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. Ready to fight? Ready. Go Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Able to land with the lead uppercut there. Oh, you can start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments or this fight could be over. You don't want to show it. That's why you see fighters, when they get hurt, they smile. To be limping out there tells you how damaged this guy is. Oh, Great block there. Yet another huge kick land. Hook has been there all night. There's another one by Lee. Jab snaps the head back. Oh, nice. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. This is big. That's big. 
big. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Sanders has stood the test at all. Oh, nice high kick. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. One minute to go in the fight. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. And that one certainly found the target. Nice job by him defensively there. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. And that spinning kick found its home up top. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No. The champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Roos the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight, and given this capacity.